Good morning. It's Saturday, June 3rd. We ended up staying at the Equality Inn in Barrington, Massachusetts. We ended up going back there. Jess, a shuttle driver, took us there yesterday afternoon. It was a tough day for Jeff and I. It was so hot and he started feeling like he was coming down with something as well so we figured it was time to uh, get off trail and get some rest plus we were really dehydrated yes yeah, so what happened uh, was go ahead water and we had another water source up ahead that was listed except when we got to that water source it was dry as a bone it was supposed to be a good water source, so we had a ways to go before we could even think about getting any more water. And it was so hot. It was like 88 degrees. Uh, it was just it was too much. So we gotta go get it. And we had to resupply anyway. Yeah, so. but look at this weather though. Today is beautiful. Yep. So much nicer today. It's in the uh, probably 60s. I don't know, what's my pack say? Uh can't find the I think it's on the other side. Oh, uh, it's not there either. It's on this side here. Oh. It says 56 degrees. Okay. Beautiful. So it's a beautiful morning, perfect temperature for hiking. But we're still gonna take it slow and uh, we'll decide how far we're gonna go today as we get to route 7 that was where we originally planned to hike to tomorrow that will be only like nine miles from here uh, there is a shelter uh, i can't remember how much further up it, it is but we'll see how it goes we don't want to overdo it and get sicker so There's plenty of clouds. Totally different than yesterday. And the forecast said that it will be cooler this week. We'll have some rain. I'm not sure. What is what are the chances of rain next week? But will be much cooler. We just ran into Professor Plum up the top. He was taking a break from uh, hiking, he's having his sandwich. But uh, he's doing a, a forty-mile section in this area. I think he said uh, he'll probably be out here for three days. You'll be hiking southbound from Barrington to Cornwall Bridge. And Evelyn, our friend, uh, I think she is uh, slack packing him. So she's also in Barrington. It's a little slippery because of the rain. I think we passed that pond coming here when we got shuttled. Nice, gloomy day. Yeah, I think you're right. That's when you have to stay fishing the pond. Yeah. Anyway, the trail goes down there. So, I'm going to have to go back down here because I don't want to be slipping down on that rock 
So now that even we are in Massachusetts, how can I summarize Connecticut? How many miles were in Connecticut, Jeff? Oh, so it's just 50 miles. So they have posh towns, expensive. They have really nice tent sites though, I have to say. And we went through a lot of really nice terrain too, flat. So that's cool. And then there were a couple of tricky spots. There was one descent that was really like hard, really wrecked my feet and my knees. But other than that, the rest has been pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna turn up my camera now because this is kind of tricky. There's another spot here to look at the views. We can do this. Oh, doesn't look too bad. There are crevices here for the shoes. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention that I sent my P Tex Pro compression socks because after I got my new shoes, they seem to kind of like bunch up inside my shoe and they were not helping so i sent them home and i just got some smart wool darn long socks, socks. huh darn i think those are darn tough aren't they oh i thought it's smart wool, smart wool. yeah know. but um i started wearing them yesterday and they are actually doing good my feet are not um painful i try not to tie my shoes too tight and that seems to help because I've been having feet problems since we left Pennsylvania. That had been one of the reasons why I can't seem to go for many miles anymore. But yeah, it's it's been this has been good. But those um, compression socks were fine up until you know they get to be an issue with my new shoes. Look at him. Okay, goodbye, buddy. Be safe. Somebody left some jugs of water here. That's really nice, especially yesterday where water was hard to come by.
there are lots of mosquitoes right now. I think we have been crossing a lot of uh, boggy area, swampy area. Boggy, boggy mosquitoes. <laughs> I have to wear my head net. But hey, our permethrin treated clothes have been really working out well. Mosquitoes seem to be leaving all that alone. And then I used picaridin on my legs because the other day they were just tearing me up. Yeah. So, but the picaridin, something like that, is nice because it's not oily like the DEET. But I got the DEET too, just in case. Yeah, um, and uh, we haven't seen any ticks on us ever since we... No, just I had one crawling on me. Yeah, that's that's before we pre-treated, or we... It's before we retreated our clothes, though. Well, he, wa he was just on my skin, on my leg, though. Just yeah. crawling. And it wasn't, there weren't, no, none were attached. Yeah. But the mosquitoes fly around. Um, but none have bitten through my clothes. And, and these ones here, they've been washed quite a bit, actually. Because, you know, they get pretty funky. Yeah, You guys will probably not be able to read this because they, these are the letters are so small. But um, you can look it up. Last battle of Chase Rebellion. Anyway, the trail goes this way. We still haven't decided what we're gonna do. How many more miles we're gonna hike? Um, if we hike up to Route 7, that will only give us 9 miles. We can hitch to get to the community center where you can camp. And that's uh, in Barrington. Or we can keep hiking, I think, maybe 5 more miles to the next shelter. So we'll see. <laughs> so, no, I'll drink a beer. Huh? I'll drink a beer. We'll drink a beer then. I need to put down my pack. My shoulder is starting to hurt. Well, let's go across the road. Lots and lots of beautiful flowers here. So, we decided to. Uh, hike three more miles we saw a comment on far out from the Kentucky crew that there is a stealth site camp or a stealth spot for camping at a certain mile which will give us uh, 
12 miles today, so that's not too bad. We really don't want to overdo it today because I feel like I'm still recovering. So we found some water that uh, bottled water left over there by the trail by some trail angel. So we filled up. We should be okay if there's no spot to get some water. They have a sign over there that says, no coma, PCV, <coughs> PCV contamination on uh, fish, turtles, and frogs, or whatever creatures you can find in there. They knew I was coming. Oh, that's the year of your birth? Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the most we've seen in one spot. No, nope, it's more than that. We have in one yeah. spot? Yeah, I can't remember where it was, but you even commented on it. There's a bunch of them. But that is a lot. There's like four of them there. And then there's a bunch that haven't quite bloomed yet. So that might be the most, actually. Yeah, I was just going to say. The ones that haven't. haven't uh, yeah, because haven't that's, that's another one over there. Yeah, there's a bunch of them, though. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, you got another one right there. Oh, yeah? It already did its thing. Oh, it's already done. Yeah. And gone. Like We've only seen one white one, though. Seems like the most uh, popular, the most common, I should say, color is pink. <laughs> 